When is the best time to launch PulseChain? Richard Hart, inventor of PulseChain.com and HEX.com, has provided some details on when Pulse will launch. So, PLS promises to be a better, faster and cheaper Ethereum, with the world's largest airdrop. But when will you be able to buy Pulse? That's what we'll see in today's video. So, we advise you to stay tuned and watch this video until the end, as we will also do a little comparison between Pulse Chain, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Hi Cryptopreneurs, welcome back to the channel. We are giving away $1,000 to 10 lucky winners. Each winner will get $100 to start their crypto journey. All you need to do is, like the video, subscribe, comment on your favorite crypto coin in the comments section, and register yourself on our giveaway link in the description. Winners will be announced in our videos and Telegram group. You should also consider joining our channel as a member, our members enjoy cool perks, free merch, exclusive deals, and more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Before we tell you the best time to launch Pulse Chain, Let's first make a comparison between Pulse Chain, Ethereum and Bitcoin, to show you the importance of each. So, the Pulse Chain team has highlighted several features that they believe distinguish the project from Ethereum and Bitcoin. The team claims that Pulse Chain will be more energy efficient, faster, and cheaper than Ethereum and Bitcoin. It should be noted, however, that Ethereum is undergoing an update that could solve some of its current energy problems. This is not actively the case with Bitcoin, which is why Elon Musk has refused to continue using Bitcoin to purchase Tesla products. The reason was that it was a pollutant. But unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, Pulse Chain was designed with all of these problems of large cryptocurrencies in mind. In addition, Ethereum's Ether token has no supply cap, which creates a risk of inflation for holders. Pulse Chain's official cryptocurrency is PLS. The project will eliminate the inflation risk of PLS by burning tokens. Pulse Chain will become a great investment. Ethereum is still a good investment, so in our opinion, we would say to go for both. After all, it's also a way to be diversified, and diversification is one of the keys to success in the cryptocurrency business. And then on the Ethereum side, the founders know they are doing better. They've increased their throughput over and over again, whereas Bitcoin hasn't. And even though they've increased the throughput over and over again, the price of gasoline has increased by a factor of 1000. That's why Richard Hart and his team are building the extra capacity to help Pulse Chain keep its fees as low as possible and to give everyone the world's biggest free dump and allow a lot of coins that are overpriced in the market right now to be more valuable. So, on Ethereum, there have been increases in the amount of gas you can use per block, the aim was to increase its speed, and so the average block time has been reduced, and is 13 seconds now. But the amount of gas you can use in each block kept increasing. And so, because of that, the flow rate is maybe 2 or 3 times higher than before. So, while you could have a maximum of 1,500,000 transactions back then, you know you can have more now, but the problem is that, maybe now the average transaction is more gas intensive. And you know, the extra gas that these transactions use, can reduce the number of people to serve. But in the case of Pulse Chain, it can serve more than Ethereum, because it has a block time of 3 seconds instead of 13 seconds, which allows the network to serve at least 4 times as many people, just from this setting, and also because it uses proof of stake instead of proof of work. Note that the throttle limit can increase, perhaps as much as 10x, so you could have 30x faster throughput on Pulse Chain. However, Ethereum indeed has several problems, but it's still a very good project. It also gets a lot of updates. And it is like the backbone of many dApps in the cryptocurrency world. Just like Bitcoin, Ethereum is one of the best cryptos to ever be created, with all the new developments and changes coming to Ethereum blockchain, it is probably a better investment to make. You should do your research too. Now, when is the best time to launch Pulse Chain? At the moment, the official launch date is not yet known, but we think it will happen soon. So, you should already be preparing for the launch. Richard Hart made an announcement on his page, and in a video, saying that Pulse Chain will launch as soon as it is ready. He also said that though for him it's more practical to launch in low markets, 
and benefit from the fact that PulseChain's price graph is the best at the moment, delaying is not his plan. So, for the bragging rights of the price graph, it's nicer to launch during bear markets, but it's even nicer to get to market faster and unpack more users. So, it's better to launch as soon as it's safe to do so, rather than trying to delay it. We have added the Richard Hart's video at the end for you. With this, here comes the end of the video. We hope you guys found this video tremendously valuable and especially entertaining. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur, the original crypto merch brand. We have an amazing collection of crypto designs on t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and more. Check them out at www.cryptopreneur.com. Use code YT10 for 10% off at checkout. Link will be in the description and also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye. I think that getting out earlier is better than trying to like time a bottom or anything like that. Earlier is better. So, so as soon as it's ready, we do it. We're not, I'm not waiting for some price point and any other thing that I'm not doing that. Getting to market okay. faster is better. Perfect. I mean, it is convenient to launch in bear markets because your price chart looks better because you launch lower and then it's easier to go higher. So for, for price chart bragging, it is nicer to launch during bear markets, but it's even nicer still to get to market quicker and on-ramp more users. So I'd prefer, I would prefer to launch as soon as is safe to do so uh, rather than try and market time.